bit of an uncomfortable position stopping the king from castling only thing that can move that is the knight or a rook if it's like feeling that way inclined so where's this knight going oh sorry it's going here to attack the bishop because it doesn't like the bishop being there as we just said that's the only thing that can take it so i'm going to bring the bishop here and take so there's no castling, it's virtual castling for the opponent. Okay, so let's see. This bishop's been held to ransom by this pawn. It's not going to be happy with that. Shall we just bring this rook here? Probably some of this. Probably attacking the bishop. Looks like he's, well, he's not defending the pawn because this pawn's going to be moving. So what's he wanting to do? I'm going to push this pawn and see if we can lock in the bishop here. Let's lock in the bishop. It's not coming there just yet, so he could always like try and do a bit of an attack here. Could lock down the rook. But if we do that, rook takes, pawn takes, then the bishop goes. So we will hang fire on that. Shall we hit this pawn? Hit the king. Whilst the bishop is locked in, can we do anything? Well, if we come and attack, he's just going to come and defend. Do we come here? Or do we have to? Do we have to go there? No, I think we could. We need to go there, don't we? Let's. Let's bring this rook. Okay, so we go if the pawn takes, rook takes, etc. So I think that move order might work for us. Take. Okay, let's take. And bishop can take. Bishop takes our pawn. Rook comes here, x ray King comes to defend, or defends there, whichever. Boom, 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 boom. Now he's attacking. Interesting times. So, do I bring the rook here? Do I bring the rook there? Or... Do I just simply take? Take opens up his rook a little bit. Mm -hmm. If we don't take, he pushes down, pushes down. Da -da -da -da. Can't go here anyway because the bishop is there. What shall we do? Let's take. Let's x-ray through to the rook. And the pawn, sorry. Just not wearing them apples. Let's maybe get a side on. Can't really take it, the rook's protecting. Put a check anyway. Doesn't really want to go on a white square, so I'm probably going on a dark square. Yeah, dark square. Slide across. Bishop blocks the rook. That's a bit sketchy, is that? Ooh, that is very sketchy. 
looking for a two on one, but the pawn is blocking the way. Can we push? Push. Can't go there. A lot of cans. A lot of cans. Like I say, I need to find the cans. Maybe the rook just comes back. Maybe we're pushing. Maybe we're pushing. Rook doesn't want to be there. But it's babysitting this pawn. I think it's going back here anyway, just to give itself a bit of choice. Ooh. Let's push. So it's got me blocked in really. I can't I can come back around again attacking the king. It's gonna find a safe haven. And bishop's just gonna here block in there. Could say it's a draw, really, couldn't you? I was just recently watching a game where this blog just did not give up. It was like bishops of opposite colour, but they just carried on and carried on and they finally found a, a little snippet of a good position. Uh, but it still ended in a draw, but they just weren't giving up. Got an extra rear through to the king. Can we use that? Check. It's just going to come round here, isn't it? Got the check on. Alright. Alright, no retreat, no surrender. Let's just see if we can find some magical thing. Because it looks like a draw to me. Let's go here. Looky, looky, let's just drop down here and defend. So this player is not going to give up. Come on, let's see if we can find the magic before they do. Now I'm having to babysit this um, damn pawn. Rooks don't like defending pawns. Give it up. Obviously I can come here or I can go here. Because I still want to be on this pawn. Let's just bring it here. That just makes sense. It's probably looking to trade off the rooks, maybe. Because then his bishop can take, and then, whoa, that can take his counter. It's not looking for the trade just yet. Right, okay, no retreat, no surrender. Get a check on the king. Going here, protecting the pawn. It's not going there, protecting the pawn. Get a check on the king. No magic yet. Can't get here. It's not going to let me get there, is it? <laughs> it's so a draw. Can't go there, can't go there. What's my king? King can't even come here to attack here because of the bishop. But this position does warrant probably rook exchange. King goes up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. King move. No, it's not. Well, it's not going for the exchange with the rook. So maybe the rook's coming there. Let's just continue with this pressure on the pawn, defending our pawn. Rook's got to be fed up of defending this now. 
So I'm just going to do something, get the rook here into the game. I can't even go there because of the bishop. Can go here. Bishop goes there, we take. So maybe, oh no, the rook can't go there. If the king moved back, then the rook could go here. It's attacking the pawn again. So in essence, if we did move up, he takes the pawn. Does have this lovely passer. We can't really wear them apples. Rook puts a check on. Move the king. Move it over to protect the pawn. But I give him a tempo, don't I? Because his rook will come and put a check on. We move. can come down if he wants to, to start taking these pawns off. Hmm, we would be on the back foot. Probably waiting for us to overstep this line out of. If we brought the rook here, but it's on a dark square, I don't really want to wear them apples. So we still lose tempo, bishop comes back. Maybe the king is best served not coming here at all because we, it doesn't feel that we're going to win a better type of position because we'll be chasing our tail. But it would have been nice to get the king across, across, across and just protect this pawn and then the rook can start causing some trouble. Not that it probably could cause much, but you know. One, rook comes and put a check, we bring the rook across, rook takes, king takes, then the bishop takes the pawn, but then our bishop takes their pawn, our king is near to these pawns, so his bishop will have to come back around, it might get there in time, we'd have to come here to go here, which isn't too far is it, let's move the, move the king, See if they exchange. See if they take the pawn, they take the pawn. Usually defend the pawns, no point running all the way up there. What he wants to do is get his king here, down and down and down. Take myself back. <laughs> it's a good exercise in blocking the king off. You, you know where the king wants to go wants to come around the sides to come and get the weak pawns. But if you can block it off, then it works okay for you. Let's bring the king here. Looks like he's going for draw moves now. Yay, at last. Shoosh. <laughs> Threefold repetition. Right, okay, let's go. They're a serious thinker, aren't they? Crikey. Okay. I think it's finding that middle ground. Either they take way too long over the moves, which can be annoying, or they move way too quick, which can be annoying. It's finding that middle ground in knowing that the player is actually still playing the game um, and feeling the wrath of their speed. So it's... <laughs> So always try to get that balance, but it looks like this player is playing um, properly. They're just taking their time, thinking of the position, which is what we need to practice for any tournaments we're doing. Let's just castle. I must be moving too fast because my time is still going back up to the one hour mark. I think it's a 20 second increment in or something.
So this game, then the opening has started. They're probably feeling a little bit of tension in terms of the bishop not being out and the king not getting castled. So they're going for the Fianchetto situation. I'm going to take this opportunity to hit the centre, maybe give them something to think about. I don't think they're going to be interested. They're probably just going to go on Fianchetto and get ready for castling. Yeah, exactly. Because they're not going to lose out on much with me just taking this pawn here. Because they'll have two pieces on this pawn giving us something to think about if the knight takes. The knight doesn't take. Gives us time to develop the bishop. Even to here. But we'll bring it here. Oh, attacking already, not castled. So we could bring it back, attacking the pawn. Knight's defending. Could come here if he's opening up a bit more. Still just utilising, getting some sort of management of this area. I think we'll just bring the bishop back. Giving the king company as well. It's a plus. Be nice if we could get the queen here, get the rook behind. Target the knight. Maybe be able to get the knight off the board. Long term plan. Might not happen. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to bring the bishop here. Okay. Take some time now. But these were all kind of obvious, straightforward moves, so they didn't need too much thinking about. Attacking the knight. Knight can attack his knight, excuse me. And because we've got support of the bishop. So a move order thing could be taking the queen first with the check. If the knight takes, of course. Okay, so they're not doing anything. They don't want to get fancy at all. And like we said, it would be really nice to get this type of thing going. But I'm just going to go simple and just take. So you can double my pawns, I'm not bothered about any of that malarkey. So we will bring the queen here and stick with the kind of plan of putting pressure onto the knight. Probably envisage the rook coming across or something. Or he might just move the knight anyway. So what's he attacking if he's moving the knight? Could come back and attack the pawn because the bishop's going to be taking the knight. Yeah, so if they did that, and then if we got a little bit fancy, then they take. I suppose the queen can take it back and the rook's on the queen anyway. Okay, so attacking our bishop. So we can take the bishop. Or we can continue doing the attack on the knight. Because the bishop is protected. So that momentary... It's, like I said, oh, it could still just move the knight anyway. Because he's got, you know, two rooks defending the queen. All I'm thinking is if the knight does stay there, then we get the knight for free. The knight is the one protecting. So the bishop move order, I'm not going to let, let the bishop just get taken. Well, and not do anything about it. So I think I would take back. That gives him time to move his knight out of the way. So it would be pretty straightforward. 
if I was brave and they took, which they're probably going to do, then we take, we're on their queen, queen takes, rook takes, but then the bishop gets away, doesn't it? Comes back, attacks the knight or something, and it's attacking the pawn. It's the other side of the coin as well. There is a loose pawn on the side here, in front of the king. So it's almost starting a process of sorts if we decided to go down that route. Of leaning towards it, but is there any follow on? That's the key thing. Takes. Do we take this side? Because then it opens up the rook to be able to come across at some point as well. So if we take this side, it's just the king on this side. So probably taking better this side. Queen's not got an x-ray through or anything to the king. Yeah, probably better. Help support the queen in the quest. Oh, it's gone the other way. It's not done what we said. Okay, let's take. Well, he has in a way because his knight can move, like we said. He's probably coming to attack the pawn here. We take the queen, rook takes, etc, etc. forgetting we potentially have a little bit more so they got one or two checks on the king though dark square bishops there isn't it? But let's see it. Mm. not sure how much weight it's got so knights going here attacking the pawn put a check no it's not putting a check on the king it's just taking the pawn but the rook is going to be on the queen so the queen has to do something to defend itself. It either comes here. To look to defend. No, it can't go there because we will take it off the board. It's not going to go there because the bishop's there. So it can go hang here. It's blocked. So we have time to get a check on the king. Or instead of doing that, let's do the rook thing. Problem with doing the rook thing though is let's take. I'm not interested in taking the queen now. I think then there might be something here, but this knight is blocking actually. <laughs> so we can't do the rook thing. We want a rook in there somewhere. Could x ray through. Oops, excuse me. With the bishop. So we drop. Looks like it's going to be a draw. Not going to get the rook thing in. Totally forgot the knight was going to be there. <laughs> oh dear. Unless, of course, he takes the pawn. But he's got to move the queen first. Now, is that the same situation? Oh, you see, and the queen can come here because the knight's blocking. So our queen won't be taking it. So it can physically go here. <laughs> Damn night. I might not have done this move now if I had factored in that the night was going to be there. <laughs> Pawn push up. Wait, uh, when we do that, then Rook's still not getting in. Attack the knight, take it off the board. It's gone further down. It's gone attacking a pawn. Is it our saving grace? Can't go here. We're gonna have to get rid of this knight. So it's gonna be his check. Maybe he comes here. Then we're not getting any more checks. Damn. So we may have to come with the bishop. It's defending the pawn as well. Let's attack the knight. Yeah. 
need to make space for the rook. It's, it's taking too long. Attack the pawn. He says, no, you're not coming through. You shall not pass. Funny if the knight moved. Blam. So even though it's a long game, I feel like we've got to this type of position pretty quickly, movement-wise. But it's not a setting stone position. It's one of those where it's that annoying that playing it over the board, you think you've got something, but it's just not there. You have to do a, a bit more jostling to actually get it. So if the opponent can consolidate their pieces, then they can easily defend because there's no clear checkmate. You might have the odd check, but they still find positions that stop it from getting further checks on. Case in point, this type of position. I mean, he might have just look to trade down himself, you know, just hitting the rook. Less pieces on the board, less pieces for me to get towards his king. In fact, I'm probably better pushing with this pawn, aren't I? Hold on, no. So I'm trying to get this rook open. I'll push there if he takes. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Takes, get the king moved. Get the rook across. Yeah, rather than this one. Well, I suppose it's the same. If he takes, then we take same principle. I think, what was I thinking? Oh, well, it just pushes down. Well, it's defending the two So, let's hit this pawn. If the knight does move, what do we have? So we've not to forget that manoeuvre. Does take. Opens up a bit of space for us now. He might even look for some sort of fork business, but still we've got this move here. Let's not forget this. We hopefully have some sort of magic with the rook coming across facing the king. That was the plan if they took, which they did. But let's not forget if this knight moves, we have this. There's nothing worse than missing a golden opportunity. Ugh. Is he fast enough? So we come here, he takes, Rook puts a check on the king. I don't know what they can do with that. Let's go here. Unless there's an intermesho. Again, don't forget, we have this move if the knight moves. Although, he could go here and block. But if he spends that time blocking, Rook can come here with a check on the king. Almost kind of like a check on mate, duh, I think. Or maybe not a check and make because the pawn. No, no, it would be, wouldn't it? It's going for it. Only thing that can come in the way is this queen or the knight. And if the knight goes, then it's the queen. That's one down. Oh, 
I was always thinking it has to go here, but it can go here, but it's not really going to make much difference. Take or here. And yeah, they've resigned. Excellent.